family, we had it again. Um, it's always exciting to come your way, and uh, people are enjoying the video that I made with the libation, and we are always here to teach. And I'm learning every day. <laughs> and the program that I'm running, Mekra, is something that you should definitely subscribe to because it will literally change your life. I've been teaching this for a while now, and I'm, I'm learning today. So one of my teachers um, told me about something, the combination of something that would make your kra really protected, your creative self. So basically what I'm saying is that if you really want to protect yourself, if you want to protect your life, if you want to make sure nobody dares, does anything against your life. I keep saying it, the gods are not evil. The gods do not do evil. It's human beings. Human beings are the ones who are constantly orchestrating evil and planning evil. So if you want to protect yourself against the fellow human being, I'm not saying your mother, your brother, I'm not saying none of that. I'm only saying any person at all. I've had my own share of, of wickedness and human beings coming after what I'm doing. And I know what you're going through, what you're dealing with. You definitely also have somebody or something or someone that is definitely not interested or excited or likes what you do. That's why you must protect yourself. And one of my teachers who chooses to be unanimous, um, I'm talking about the herbs, you know, because uh, we, when you talk about the herbs, you need somebody that understands the herbs, speaks the language of the herbs, that the herbs speak to them. And I know in due time, he'll come online, he'll come and, and he will speak to you guys, but for now, whatever I'm learning, whatever I'm learning from the elders, from the villages, I will also teach you for free. And today I want to talk about protecting your kra, protecting your kra. Or those who don't know your kra, you say se, or my, my Nigerian brothers and sisters will say chi, your chi, protecting your chi, protecting your kra, uh, or protecting your se, or protecting your kra, or your chi, your true self, your true essence, your real, your protecting. And you need three or basically four fundamental elements or fundamental energies to come together to ensure that you are protected. And whenever anybody calls your name, you don't show up. So I have a herb here, it's dried up. Most of you know this herb is dried up. Um, and I have another one here. This we call yenya. This we call yenya. And this we call the uh, susumasa. Uh, I always say it funny, but susumasa, susumasa, that's the basic way to say it. So we have the susumasa, we have the yenya. And we have water, right? This is just water. And we have the egg. This is a local egg, okay? We have the local egg. Don't, don't pick a poultry breed. Don't pick these GMOs. It won't work. Pick an egg that both the male, that's a cock and the chicken or the hen had come together to, to produce, okay? Pick that egg. And what you do is that put the sisumasa as a base herb. Just put it down. There's an absolute protection for you. Put it down, okay? And put the yin yang on it. Put the yin yang on it. And any other, it doesn't matter. And what you do is that you now put the egg on it. Okay? You put the egg on it. Very significant. So one, two, three. Okay? Then you have your water. And I've taught you to pour libation with water already, so you already know... Um, how to pray with water already. I taught you to connect with your fathers, to connect with your ancestors. So what we do is that you have the egg. Usually when you're using egg to pray or do any ritual, you speak over the egg, whatever it is that you want to see, whatever it is that you want to see happen. And another thing is that you can actually rub it on your whole body before you do the rituals with it. So your head, run, run your head, you rub it on your hands, you rub it on your whole body if you want to speak over it, right? But this particular ritual, this particular ritual, you put it on the herb, okay? Then you have water. Life is basically water. Water is life. So if you want to talk about life, it's basically water. So you have your water. You lift it up on your water. Whenever you have substance in your hands, in a calabash like this, you always want to make sure you show it to the creator. So right? Well, whichever name you revere the creator as, or whichever name your ancestors gave it to you as the creator, you revere the creator, or Mao. So whatever name you're comfortable with, so you read to the creator of the man called Edawasi, right? And obviously you invoke the mother. You invoke the mother. As I say, Yadawasi. So you pour a little bit. And now the ritual begins. So what you do is that you don't go anti, you go clockwise, right? And you say, as I carry this water, this water is representing life, my life, my cra, my essence, the reason why I'm here. So as I surround these herbs with this water. My entire life is circumference or surrounded by the water, by the water energy, the water energy, right? 
So you're calling the waters above, the waters beneath, the water in you, right? And this very essence, you call it all of them to bear witness to the ritual that you are doing. What it is is that everybody on the face of the earth drinks water. Everybody on the face, every essence, every entity on the face of the earth has water in them, drinks water, uses water, okay? So use this water. Second phrase, which is a wall of protection, a shield of protection around these particular herbs, okay? Then as you second phrase, and you're speaking clockwise, clockwise, you're speaking that my life, my life is being presented before the energies, before the waters are birth. Nanabosum po, if you want to call him by the name, or Mami Abna, or Nanan Katia, there's the energy behind water. Water above, water beneath, water in you, water in the calabash. So if it, Nanan Katia or Nanabosum po, you call them to witness this particular ritual that you're about to do. All the water energy surrounding me, water within, water without. I call you to witness this particular ritual I'm doing. I call you to bear witness to this protection that I'm offering to my craft. This, you do it for just you. This is not something you do for somebody. This is, you do it for you. So if you want to do this for your children, you have to teach your children how to do it, okay? So you do it for your water. I bear, bear witness to this powerful ritual that I'm doing, powerful protection that I'm doing. Anybody that drinks water, anybody that takes in water, anybody that has water within them, would we'll never be able to stand my crap. Would we'll never be able to call my crap. Would we'll never be able to summon my crap wherever they want to summon my crap to. When you call my name, I will not appear. I will not suffice. When you call my name, so you can mention your name, I will not show up. This water, my life is hidden within the water. So <laughs> this amazing part. Your life is even hidden within the person that is seeking to come against you. The person seeking to do, do whatever wickedness, witchcraft, whatever it is against you. So now that you've circumferenced the water, you've called the energies above, the energies beneath, energies in the water to circumference around the water. Now you pick the neck. Okay. And you say, this is representing my kra, my essay, my kla. You understand? My chi. This is representing my chi. Any person on the face of the earth was conceived, okay? An egg and a sperm had to come together. These two energies. People don't even know. Trees have eggs. Anyway, we'll go into that later. So anybody is conceived. Once you pick the egg, you said, anybody that was conceived, the egg is representing the entire universe as well. So you say, any soul, any crap, any body, any spirit, any essence, any energy that is on the face of the earth that ever wishes to mention this name. So you mention your name. I would say, um, could you mention being too? Why did I put that name out? Let me go back. I would say, could you being too? Okay. So I would say, could you being See, anyone on the face of the earth that mentions the name, could you being too? That wants to use my name. That wants to use my craft for any spiritual work. As I do this ritual and as I speak over this egg, whatever you do will not work. Whatever you do will not function. So you rub it around your body. Whatever you do will not function. Whatever you do will not come against me. I am being bear witness by the herbs, these powerful herbs before me. They bear me witness. The waters are bare, waters beneath. What a circumference is this egg bear me witness. And I speak over my life. I speak over my say. I speak over my cra. I will never be touched. Nobody can touch me. Nobody can harm me. Nobody can do anything against my life. Whatever it is that you desire to do, whatever it is that you seek to do, will not manifest. When you call my crown, I am protected by the water that circumferences this earth. It will not happen. When you call my name, it will not happen. When you call anything that concerns my life, it will not manifest. I am protected with this egg. So you speak your prayer. I'm saying me. You speak your prayer over this egg. You say, this egg is representing the womb of the universe, the womb of the mother. Okay? And this egg is representing my kra. What you say in your secret chambers will not prosper, will not work. And as I break this egg, okay, as I break this egg, let this ritual be sealed within the energies of the water realms and in the powerful, 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 in the sacred place of the powerful, powerful herbs that I have before me. And as I crack this egg, you, 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 that is out there, you know who is what, you would not be able to summon my crack, to call my crack, 
to invite my crowd into any meeting. So whoever, like you, 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 you out there, whoever that wishes to do anything against me, speak evil, project evil against me, against my business, against my finances, if you came from an egg, if you came from the womb of a mother, if you were conceived for 10 months in the womb of a mother, as I crack this egg, whatever you speak against me, let it return back to you. So after you said a prayer, now you crack it, okay? So now the egg is cracked, everything goes back to wherever. Whoever wishes anything, everything goes back to the person. You've cracked the egg. Now the water has been a witness, the herbs are here. What you do is that you dry fry these herbs, okay, in a pot, on, on a sheet, on a, on, on a roofing sheet, in a pot, in, in a calabash, anything you, you, can, you can dry fry it. So you dry fry the herbs to be black, okay, that's what we call the motto. You, 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 dry, you dry fry this egg to be black, and once you get it done, okay, you can pack it up in a bottle, save it, I prefer glass bottle. Okay, glass bottles maintain the energy. The black powder will be something like this. Okay, will be something like this. So you dry fry this powerful leaves into a black powder, okay? And what you do is that you fetch some of the powder and you eat it. Everywhere you go, if you live in the house, if you go into whatever it is, you, you, you dry fry it and eat it. If you want, you can pay a professional direction, show you part of your body to cut. So you, you can put it in it to become a motto for you or you eat it. So when you eat it, you make sure you eat it periodically. You can make it your personal ritual where you eat it on the day you were born, the cry you were born. When you're doing your cross ritual, your cross cleansing, you eat it. Now, after you're done, you can boil it as well, but I don't subscribe to it. You can boil it and drink it as a tea. I don't subscribe to it. Turn it into this black powder. Eat it periodically. I'm telling you, nobody would have anything against you. Let them try it. When they do, nothing would happen. These are just herbs. So these are the basic steps to ensure basic protection is have by you. And you do your own ritual in the home. You need to protect yourself as a man. You need to protect your children. You need to protect your family as a man. Do this ritual, powerful ritual, and you know you are well protected and well endowed. I'll come your way some other time with another powerful ritual that will, that will literally bless your life. We have so many powerful rituals coming up. We have the ritual that will talk about how to build your craft, you know, with herbs, you know. We also have a ritual that talks about the water initiation. I didn't have to say it. I wasn't supposed to say it. Anyway, have a great time. I love you guys. You know, I'm always coming your way and we're always here to ensure that you have an amazing experience here in this dimension. This is Mekra. Check out our social media handles or go to our website. Check the details of upcoming events and I'm Listen, be part of this family or be part of any spiritual family. Make sure you are rooted. Go home. Go to your house. Have a relationship with the energies in your house and your life can never be the same. I love you guys. I'll see you soon. And I want to say a big thank you to all the amazing teachers in the background that ensure that what we are doing at Mekra is a possible one. I love you guys. Have a great time. Mm -hmm.